Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to drop one size in one week guaranteed. Okay? There are five things you need to focus on. We're taking all the best strategies and putting them together. Okay? Number one, this is a technique, um, it's a strategy using intermittent, intermittent fasting. Why? Because every time you eat, you raise insulin. Insulin is the common denominator between whether you're going to lose weight or not lose weight, whether you're going to burn fat or not burn fat. So if there's insulin too high, forget about losing weight. So if we can eat less meals, okay, we're not talking about less calories, less meals, less infrequent, this is going to really help you reduce insulin and help you lose weight. So I'm going to recommend two meals. Okay, you can spread them out equally, maybe a late morning and then for dinner. Okay, so no snacking is in between because we don't want to raise insulin. When you eat protein, three to six ounces, not too much, just enough. Um, a large amount of vegetables because we need that because as we get into fat burning, you need to flush all that fat out of your system and not do necessarily like a high protein diet. We're doing a, a moderate amount of protein, a little bit smaller amount. We're actually doing a lot of vegetables, okay, and we're going to add some fat. It's almost impossible to do this without adding some fat. Why? Because fat is one of the only foods that will not raise insulin too much. And so if we can actually do fat, it's going to allow you to go longer. Even though there's more calories, we don't care about that. We care about insulin. We want to keep insulin low. So this is a really good combination of what to eat. Okay, so we have some protein, vegetables, fat. All right, no snacks, two meals. Okay, number two, you're going to need sleep. Most fat burning occurs when you are in deep sleep. You cannot do this with five to six hours of sleep. You need eight hours minimum. Now, even if you have to get a nap, that's totally fine if you can do that. But we need to go for eight hours. There's two things I like to do to enhance my sleep. One is I do a lot of stretching before bed. Number two, I use this thing right here. It's Adrenal Night Formula. This stuff is very powerful. It doesn't have any melatonin. It basically supports the adrenal gland. It chills out the adrenal gland. Normally take one before bed. I would take two to really get that eight hours of sleep. You won't feel groggy. You wake up feeling refreshed and it'll enhance the sleep. Okay? So that's one thing. The next thing is stress. If you're going through stress, it's going to be a barrier because stress activates the hormone called cortisol that blocks the fat burning. So what we want to do is we want to list all your stressors and it's probably going to be related to people and avoid those people for one week. And you're going to find, surprisingly, you'll actually lose more weight because if you keep running into this situation over and over with these stressful people, it's not helpful. I also recommend no watching the news for one week. Watch a comedy, read a book because we don't want to interfere, have the stress interfere with the sleep. We don't want that negativity. And then we want to do long walks. Okay, so we want to walking is really good and just getting space. So that's what we're going to do for stress. There's a lot of other things, but this will be helpful. And also help sleeping more will help stress as well. Now exercise, you want to do high, um, high intensity interval training. That means that you want to work the whole body. Right now I do a combination of a uh, bike when it's not too cold out and I do sprints. I do rock climbing, I do deadlifts, which with good posture, but you want to find something that fits your interest, but you want to do something really high, full body, upper and lower body, short duration, high intensity, but only do that every two days. Why? Because we want to get that recovery. All the benefits from exercise happens in the recovery. You don't want to do it every day unless you're really in shape, and even every other day might not be the best thing if you've been suffering from sleep and stress. So it really is kind of a juggle, but Twice, I mean, I, I've taken people and decreased the frequency of their workouts and helped them lose a lot more weight. And it's quite interesting how that, you, it's counterintuitive, but it's, it works. On the days you're not working out, you're going to go for long walks and just going to walk and just get space. So that's what you're going to do with your exercise. Nutrition. Seek help. Seek help. Why? Because seek help activates the thyroid. It'll speed up the metabolism. Only consume seek help in the morning. Take one or two in the morning. Take them in little tablets. Um, and don't take them before you go to bed because it'll keep you up at night. Um, potassium citrate. Now they have potassium chlorate. I'm going to recommend you get potassium citrate. And whatever it says in the bottle, five exit. It's going to be like 99 milligrams. So you're going to do 500 milligrams. Now that's not even hardly a dent into the potassium requirements that you need because you need 4,700 milligrams. So why are we recommending potassium citrate? Because as you're burning fat, getting into a ketogenic diet, you're, you're going to be losing a little bit of potassium. We want to put the potassium in. Potassium will lower the need for insulin. Potassium will enhance your sleep. Potassium will prevent kidney stones. Potassium will help um, relax the muscles and it'll actually help your energy. So again, 
I normally don't recommend one individual mineral without the others in a combination, but we're just talking about dropping some serious weight. And you don't have to do this long term, just short term. And it's really difficult. I know it's hard to believe. It's difficult for pe get people to consume the amount of vegetables that they need. They need about seven to 10 cups a day. I'm trying to get people to have even seven cups a day. So they're not getting their potassium. You need seven to 10 cups of vegetables every day to get your potassium. So we can enhance it a little bit short term, but you're gonna do, do at least five X that, okay? So calcium, potassium, citrate. Um, the only contraindication would be if you have kidney disease, which is very highly unlikely. So then you wouldn't wanna do that, but it's, you're gonna be fine. Nutritional yeast, why? Nutritional yeast you can get from the health food store. It's loaded with natural B vitamins. It's gonna handle kind of the stress it's going to help the excessive thinking. It's going to help chill out the adrenal glands. It's going to tie everything in here. But these are the most uh, powerful things that you can do. Now, you might have individual specific issues like bad menstrual cramps or a body issue or whatever. Um, if you have a more complex case and you need more help, I think the most cost-effective way to do this is to do my membership site. I have a membership site that's very inexpensive and you get my guidance and I actually give you lessons a little bit each time like you actually go through one step at a time so it's not confusing because people get overwhelmed so I like to kind of spoon feed you so you can go from this point to this point slowly at your own pace and you can get the knowledge get the results have me as a backup if you have questions so I put a link below definitely check it out and I think uh, we'd love to have you as part of a member so I hope this was beneficial thank you so much for watching and click the link below